22 years old. I'm from Havana City, Cuba. I've been here since I was born. For a child to live here is nice because if you want to play, you, you, you could play with every, every boy. There is no racial difference. You have different friends, no matter the age or the color of their, or of their skin. The school is good. We, we learn there. And there are not bad teachers. Perhaps it's a little bad in the material scenes. You now the blackboards, the chairs, the tables, the pencils, that stuff. But not, not the, the system, not the, the way we learn. That's good for us. The problem becomes when you grow up and when you want to see more than you have seen in your whole life. With the television, we see movies, but here we don't have real access to internet because information about the world and not information for us. That's bad. I would like to see La Mona Lisa, I would like to see, I don't know, Taj Mahal in another place. I just want to see that since. And the government says, no, you cannot. If you want to know that, just read our books, just see our television and just stay like that. No more information for you. I'm not very happy with the things that happens here in Cuba because young people who wants to go higher, who wants to get a better future, has no opportunities here. If you want to look uh, different, if you want to think different, if you want to discover the real truth, this is not a, the better country to stay. Cuba is like the clowns, you know, the clowns are, perhaps they are tired, but they have a smile painted on their faces. Some people say that Cubans are the only ones who are smiling about their troubles or their problems. And it's true, here there is no light, Cuba smile, wow, the light will come. There is no water, wow, no problem. Let's wait for the water. Cubans are always like that. Here you cannot have a car if the government doesn't give you the permission to have it. Uh, the only cars you, you, you could own are the ones from 19, 59 years to back there. It's just a masquerade, it's just a mask for the real truth. You have to live in here for years to know the real truth. I cannot spend a night in a hotel, if I, even if I, had, if I had the money. I would like to spend a night here, this, this is my money. No, 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 you're not allowed to be in here. How do you feel if you were in your, in your country and you were less than the person who is from the outside? We are the, the owner of our houses, but if you want to sell your house, you cannot do it. If you want to change for another house, you have to go and see the government. A lot of um, bureaucratic stuff that slow down the process. I know that Havana City is a beautiful city. The architectural here is, is different for a lot of places. I know that we have stuff that uh, a lot of countries would like to share and would like to see. Tourists, they take their pictures and they say, wow, Cuba is a paradise. I think that we can survive. You just work to survive, but you don't have more uh, more expectations. You don't think if you will go to anywhere in the future. You don't think about years. You think about days. Cubans have a lot of faith. Yes, they're always praying for something. They're always praying for for a better tomorrow. I 
understand that here I'm not complete. Uh, here I am just a Cuban. Uh, I'm from Cuba, but I'm also from the Earth. I would like to know more.